Okay, hello everyone, and today I'm going to go over soft bodies. So, I'm going to move my cursor over here, shift A, add a plane. So I'm going to make this plane a soft body, which means that it will be able to bend, sort of like fabric. So, I can go to soft body, I'll give it some collision bounds, triangle mesh, and I want it to have a material. There we go. And make sure back face cooling is unchecked. Otherwise, for a plane, you will see, if I have it checked, you will see the other side. You will not see the other side of this plane. So make sure it's unchecked. Of course, the plane is doing a little bit weird stuff because it's it only has one face, so tab into edit mode, hit W to subdivide. I'll press T to open the toolbar, click number of cuts a few times, six cuts. Okay. Now let's try it. That's a good deal better. So, one thing, I'm going to top view, okay, I can't even see this box. There might be problems with shape match for a plane. You might see something weird like that. Just like that. It just gets really big and goes everywhere. It's weird. So just if it's a plane, if it's a two-dimensional object, don't have shape match. Best not to have shape match. You have other options here, though. There's stiffness. The linear stiffness. If you bring it down low, it will be a little bit ugh, floppier. Let's just not make it zero, just make it low value. It seems to stretch a little bit. Okay, and this this enables collision if you want your soft body to collide with soft other soft bodies or rigid bodies. And this is the mass of the object, how heavy it is, friction. If it's sliding around, if you put higher friction, it won't slide around so much. This damping will just slow down movement in general, so gravity won't it won't move much. Margarine. It's the collision margarine. There's also a margarine over here if you want to make it have a wider collision area. Ooh, I'm gonna try lift coefficient. Just, yes, this will basically slow down, put limits basically on the movement. Okay, that's a good thing go over. Now I'm going to switch from here and go to another scene. Over here we have a cube, so I'm going to switch this to a soft body. Let's see what it's like when a soft body is a cube. So let's make it green. I've also made it slightly transparent by a transparency. So here we go. Nice. We can toy around with these settings. Triangle mesh. Yeah, you want it to have shape match. If you don't have any shape match, okay, it might get weird. And if you don't have hardly any stiffness either, it will just like crumble. So yes, you want it to have stiffness. Okay, but you also want it to keep its shape a bit. That's a lot better. You probably want it to be able to collide with others. I want to see how it collides with another one if you put it on there. It collides nicely since we have these selected. If we don't, collision, no collision between them whatsoever. Okay, that's great. Now there's one more thing. We want 
to have a character. A character we can move around. Okay, before I had jump, but... Okay, I'm going to make this um, there. Now when I hold space, I... Okay, go up. Kind of jump. Okay, I'm going to copy this cape. I'm going to go to cape, this cape scene, and paste it. Okay. So now we have our, our plane, our cape. We want it to be a cape for this player. So, if you want it to be a cape, you probably don't want it to collide. So leave those unchecked. So now we need to get some constraints. Rigid body joint. Um, we'll just make them ball. Target, this cube. Display the pivot. I'll make it one. Nope. X1, no, negative one. One. Yes. Display pivot. Negative one. Negative one. Good. Okay, that's probably what you need. Now, it's very important to make sure that this is a dynamic. The character is a dynamic. It can't be a character, sadly. If you make it Okay, it's kind of colliding with the cape, though. Oh, I did it on the wrong side. Oh, well. Hmm. Let's see. I could just go here. Um, make it this collision group and make this the second collision group. Now there's no... Okay, there's still weird collision stuff. Whatever. It's fine. But there you can make a cape. If you make it a character. I told you it doesn't work. And yep, it'll just float there. Obnoxiously. I rather wish it would work for a character. But hmm. It doesn't really work. But actually I might try something. Let me just, I'll make this small, okay, make the origin, uh, do geometry, I'll make this a dynamic, okay, I don't, wait, no, actually, control is easy, okay, so we just have this little bar, now, I'm gonna add a cube, I'm gonna hit R Z ninety. Whoops. R Z one eighty. So now that will rotate it on the Z axis one eighty degrees. So I'm gonna get a dynamic cube. Copy its logic bricks. Well, actually, okay. I'm gonna actually make this a character. Okay. I'm going to make this a, hmm, a ghost. Don't want it to collide with this cube now. I'm going to parent this to the character cube. Okay. And this, I also want to get rid of this script for the little parent. Okay, now I figured out a way to do it for to have a cape on a character. You just need to have it, the cape on attached to a dynamic object and then make the dynamic object parented to your character. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well if you haven't already to avoid missing my future tutorials. Bye.